Hello everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to today's video. Today I am bringing you a video all about how I would style six basic ways tailored black trousers. And I make emphasis on the tailored black trousers just because on the high street you will find many different stores that will sell black trousers. But the tailored fit is a fit that will really, really enhance and elevate your style. So taking your time to find the right fit for you is super important so that you're not stuck with a pair of black trousers that you don't love and you never reach for. But before we get into the video, if this is your first time here, my name is Vilma. I'm super happy that you tuned in. I do one to two videos a week related to fashion and lifestyle. If you like the sound of that, I would absolutely love for you to join the family. Hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you get notified every time I upload a new video and you're always up to date with the fashion content here on the channel. So the star of today's video are going to be these black trousers from Marquette. Now I absolutely love the style of these. As I mentioned, I need to make an emphasis on tailoring. I find that tailored trousers look more expensive. They elevate your style and whatever way you actually wear them, they will always, always look good. And I absolutely adore the style of these because they are super high waisted. They send chin at the waist. Just for reference, I am a five foot seven and these trousers fit on me full length. They are tapered at the bottom, which makes them look a little bit more flattering in my opinion. Having that kind of like almost hourglass shape where it cinches in at the waist, it kind of like loosens up a little bit around the thigh, but then it closes on the ankle. I really love and find that type of fit very flattering. So the reason behind this video is because I struggled at some point, not only trying to find the perfect trousers for me, but also how to style them. In my mind, I always felt like black trousers can only be dressed up, they can only be worn for the office or for something a little bit more sad, maybe a funeral. However, black trousers are one of the most versatile pieces that you can have in your wardrobe. I call them the hero piece because you can style them in so many different ways. So if I've not mentioned at the start of this video, you're going to see six basic outfits Outfits. And by basic, I mean outfits that you could wear for different settings, for every day, for evening, for the office, and so forth. So with all that being said, let's get started with this video. So outfit number one is going to be the evening outfit. It's almost an all black outfit but with my bag I added a little bit more interest to the outfit so as you can see I am wearing a black cami the black trousers and a pair of black heels I absolutely love this type of look for an evening look because it's simple but very very smart and I also chose pieces that make me feel comfortable if I break it down a little bit the cami is made of hundred percent silk so it's a very nice and fluid type of of fabric that allows you to breathe. It's also very feminine, but very simple and minimalist at the same time. So you can either add a little bit more jewelry if you want to dress it up a little bit more, but knowing me, I always keep everything very, very simple. As you can see, none of the pieces are competing with each other. I find that the entire outfit just flows really well. And of course I could have added a blazer, but I only wanted to show you an evening outfit with no outerwear that you could wear coming out of a car directly into the place where you're going. It could be a pub, it could be a restaurant, it could be a club, what have you. I just really love this outfit alone without any outerwear. Now my shoes, I am wearing a pair of barely there block heel sandals, but because the trousers are a little bit longer and they taper at the bottom, you can't really see the strap. So it literally just leaves the outfit looking very, very minimal without a lot of things going Going on at the bottom. Now another hero for this particular outfit in my opinion is my bag. It's from Gucci, it's a vintage bag and it has a little bit of texture because of the print and I feel like it really complements the outfit and it has also elevated the outfit to the next level. Thank you. 
Moving right along to outfit number two, and I call it the corporate office type of outfit. You can wear this for the office, you can wear it for a meeting, and of course you can wear it for different settings, but this is what I'm going to call outfit number two. As you can see, I am wearing still dark shades, but on the top I am wearing a navy blue 100% silk blouse. Again, it's adding a little bit more interest to the outfit because it has this beautiful sheen to it, and the navy shade I just feel like it's a beautiful shade that complements so many different skin tones it goes really really well with the black trousers for shoes I decided to keep the same barely there block heels that I had in my previous outfit of course you could add some pointy pumps which I don't have because it's not a pair of shoes that I actually like I don't feel like it's necessary for my lifestyle so I decided to go for these sandals now for bag I am wearing my vintage bag from Celine that I absolutely adore. If you're familiar to my channel, I've mentioned this bag so many times. I really love the, the look. It's very simple, very feminine at the same time, and very 60s in my opinion as well. A shirt and a pair of trousers, it's kind of like the uniform that many of us wear to go to the office, but adding a little bit of a more luxurious fabric really elevates the outfit. So this one is definitely one of my favorites. If you're going to a meeting, it really looks very chic and elegant. So outfit number three, I wanted it to be a little bit more smart casual that you could wear for your everyday. You can wear it for the office, depending which type of office you work in, or if it's just your style to wear certain pieces that I'm going to show you right now. So as you can see, I styled my black trousers with a white shirt, but this shirt is actually a linen shirt. And I love the texture that linen adds to my outfits because this particular shirt is oversized I decided to knot it at the waist so it wouldn't look like a frumpy type of outfit I feel like with linen you have to be very careful you can either look really really nice and effortless but you can also look like you literally just rolled out of bed so keeping that in mind the shirt is a little bit wrinkled which I love it's a texture of linen but adding that knot just adds a little bit of femininity to the outfit and a little bit more of a relaxed look. For shoe wear, I decided to style it with a pair of backless loafers. These ones are from Dune and it was a new addition to my wardrobe this uh, late spring of 2021 and I absolutely adore them. I find that they elevate every single outfit that I style them with and I really love the shade as well. It's very neutral. It's kind of like a rose nude but it really uh, complements most of my outfits and my skin tone as well. Now to complement the trousers and because I didn't want to add too many shades, as you can see, I'm leaving most of the outfits to either two or three shades, which I think it's really good not to go above that. I styled it with just a black leather bag that I've had for some time from any other stories and I feel like the outfit came out really lovely. Moving along to outfit number four. I wanted the outfit to look classic and basic at the same time, but very feminine and chic. So for my top, as you can see, I am wearing a stripy top and I find that stripes is a must have for anyone's wardrobe because it really adds a touch of elegance and also a touch of texture because it's not so plain. So the top that I'm wearing is actually a long sleeve t-shirt from Cause and I absolutely adore it. It's made of cotton and it's kind of like almost a sturdy cotton. So it doesn't have any stretch. It's quite opaque and almost structured. Now for the trousers, of course, the same Arquette trousers, but because the trousers are high waisted, it really adds a little bit of shape to the body because the top is not over 
oversized. I have it in size medium and I feel like the proportionates from the top all the way to the bottom are very, very nice. Now for footwear, I wanted to wear a pair of flat sandals, but I still wanted my sandals to be almost dressy, but barely there. So these strappy sandals are from another stories. They are current season. They have a bit of a block heel and I find them really, really nice and feminine. Strappy sandals have been on trend for such a long time. Whether if you want them flat or high heels, they really dress up and elevate the outfit just because they're very, very simple. And for bag, I wanted my bag to be, again, more feminine, but very classic at the same time. So I'm wearing my Celine vintage bag that I absolutely love. Okay, so moving right along to outfit number six. The thought behind this outfit again was to be smart, casual, and feminine at the same time. So for my top, I am styling or I'm wearing a basic t-shirt from Arquette in this really lovely gray shade. I find that gray goes really well with black. I find that both shades really complement each other super well. And as you can see, again, the t-shirt is not tailored, of course, but I love these basic t-shirts from Arquette because they feel like they're almost tailored. The cut is perfect on the shoulders, the length of the sleeves, everything about these t-shirts I really, really enjoy. So with the trousers, it looks, if you only see the t-shirt and the trousers, you will probably think, okay, she's just wearing something very casual. But then for my footwear, I wanted to wear a block heel that wasn't uncomfortable. So I decided to wear my mules from Another Stories in a black shade as well. I feel like now, it's starting to flow a little bit more feminine rather than just casual because of the t-shirt. Now these mules are super comfortable. I have them in two shades and I find that really elevate every outfit, whether if I'm wearing a dress or if I'm wearing jeans, I find that the mules add a really nice classic touch to an outfit. And for bag, I decided to wear my Gucci vintage bag again, just to add a little bit more texture to the outfit and more interest because I'm not wearing any outerwear. I'm not wearing basically all that much jewelry because I like keeping things very, very simple. I find that with the bag, it just adds a little bit more interest to the outfit and it makes it look very kind of like Parisian chic. For my last and sixth outfit, I wanted to add a little bit more. I wanted to add lighter shades and I wanted to make this outfit a true everyday smart casual outfit. So for my top, I am wearing a rib knit tank top made of cotton in this really nice base shade. I've spoken about this top before. It's from weekday. I have it in a couple of shades. They're basic pieces that I have in my wardrobe that I wear quite often. Often I find them very flattering on the shoulders as well because instead of showing more of the decolletage, it's showing more of the shoulders. So I find that really, really nice. And I wanted to make this outfit a little bit more street casual, but smart at the same time. So I added a blazer. This blazer is a linen blend blazer from H&M. I find that the relaxed feel of the blazer really adds more interest to the outfit. And for footwear, I'm wearing my Veja trainers which add again that street casual style to the outfit although the trousers are super dressy I feel like the trainers still complement everything else that I've added and for my bag I wanted again to add a bag that had a lighter shade but looked a little bit more classic to add that smart casual look to the outfit and I'm wearing my Pauline Paris number one mini in the shade sand I adore 
wore this bag. Again, it's another piece in my wardrobe that really elevates most of my outfits. It's kind of like a hero piece in this particular outfit because it really elevates it and it, because it has this feminine, pretty look that is also very simple at the same time. And then it has that beautiful chain, that gold chain that really adds so much to this particular outfit. I absolutely love it. So it's quite effortless, but very casual smart at the same time. Okay guys, so we've reached the end of today's video. I do hope that you guys enjoyed it, found it helpful. If you did, not only leave me a comment below letting me know which outfit you like the most, also make sure to leave this video with a good thumbs up. It really helps my channel out. Thank you so much for joining me and I'll see you on my next one. Bye.